What's going on everybody, Quaku here, back with another video. Today, as you see on the screen right in front of you, taking a look at Altspace VR. Microsoft owns this application. Altspace is an application that allows you to just interact with friends and, and random people at the same time, just kind of in a VR environment. Uh, Microsoft has held summits and a bunch of things as well in Altspace. So in this video, I guess in the series, the beginning of the series, I just wanna do the basics of jumping into worlds of Altspace before we do some more crazy stuff in future videos dealing with alt space. So let's deal with it. I am using this on an Oculus Rift S uh, VR headset that I've been using for a while now. As you know about the Microsoft maquette video that I made and a bunch of other ones. So let's jump into it. All right, so here we are taking a look at alt space. Um, hopefully I'm in frame right now, but in general, like I said, Altspace is a just kind of a, a VR app that allows you to interact with various people, join various events, and do various things in VR, in a virtual environment. Um, like I said, Microsoft has held events in this um, and a bunch of other things. As you can see right here, there's a bunch of events already going on right now, like a Learn VR development uh, thing here. There's a living church, uh, living room church session. So if you want to you want to you want to do some church you can go to this session right here and you can you know be with a church a church group um you got open mic night which is starting or it ends in 23 minutes um you have my home that i was working on something a project with which we're not going to look at right away and then we have commons campfire which is like the base place that you can go to it's got like a hub of a bunch of people in fact you even see it labeled as hub um and then this is just a trending thing that's going on so if I hit destinations with the trigger, this is again, the destinations that are going on. Um, the main menu, wait for it to load, there we go. So now we have the breakdown of everything that goes on in alt space. You probably get annoyed from all the noises, but you can see all of that stuff over there. In fact, let me point now, there you go, so that you guys can see. All that stuff over there, you got discover, events, worlds, festivals, people, me, and settings, and then your friends list if you have friends. Uh, and there you go. So it's pretty straightforward hub uh, with the various things going on. They even do movies sometimes in all space, which is pretty cool. Uh, I haven't tried that yet, but it seems like something I would want to do. So we can first take a look at the discover, which we're in now. And this lets you discover various events that are going on. Oops, let me, let me move this over here. There we go. This lets you discover various events that are going on. Uh, let me see. There we go. I can hold and drag my trigger to kind of go through. So he's got Alt Space Hangout. Uh, you got looks like someone's doing like a podcast, Bohemian Groove Museum, Dilla Day mashups, uh, just a whole bunch of things here that are starting or are gonna do it. Open mic nights, night at the museums, educators in uh, VR, which is tomorrow, um, and so on and so forth. So we we'll go to events right here, and you can see various events that are gonna be going on in this kind of environment right now. And if you just hold and drag, you can see all the things that I just mentioned. You can just keep going. It looks like I saw a Zelda thing. Or no, that was just something else. So you got various days and what's going on in various days. Like if you go back to Sunday, you can see past events, uh, new to all space. Let's build, first look at MREs. I think mixed reality environments, which is pretty dope. Something I will cover later on. There's some church stuff, obviously. Well, humanism stuff. Um, and the list goes on. You can just keep going through all these tabs and categories and just, just there's just so much. If you want a talk show, if you want a performance, gaming, meetups, watch parties. So if we click watch parties, we can just see what's going on. Uh, so we can see there's uh, WebXR Awards. It's gonna start on February 12th, Saturday at two to 5 p.m. Eastern. And just a whole bunch of other things there going on. And then you got interested, which uh, if I was interested in anything, it would list here, which I haven't actually done. And then you got my events and so on. And then now let's go over to Worlds. Now Worlds is basically uh, places that people have made um, that are pretty cool looking. So we can go to like Office. We'll do Office for an example. Actually, you know what? Let's go to uh, yeah. Let's go to Office. So now we're gonna load into Office and see. Let me try to bring this thing forward so that I'm actually looking at it. So we're gonna load into Office. I'll skip to when it loads and then we'll get into it. So here is Street uh, that we're in right now. I don't think I clicked on office, I clicked on street. Now all I have to do is flick my finger forward or actually I can do the walking motion. I can step forward, which I don't have that much space to be stepping forward and doing this. So I can do the walking motion. There is a teleport. And by the way, you might notice that this circle that's around me is just because the dark circle is to let, help me focus because I get motion sickness pretty easily. So this helps me focus so that way I don't get sick so fast. 
Um, so then you can interact with various things. You can grab this basketball, for example. Let's see if we can let go of it. Uh-oh, there we go. Uh, we, can, we can try to shoot the ball. And I kind of missed with that one. Uh, I don't think I'm going to get that one back. Let's try to get another basketball. Let's see if I can make it. I'm too strong for this, clearly. Uh, keeping on going, you can just keep going through. You can see various things to the office, which will probably be somewhere like this high rise here. They just kind of advertise different events that are going on on these billboards, kind of like how you would if it was like metaverse or VR thing. And now this area here, you're probably noticing this right here. And basically, uh, obviously this is the microphone. So if I click it, there's no one in there. So even when I talk, no one will hear me. But if I turn it off, there you go. And then here it says you are here. So if you click it, you can see where you are, you're in street. And let me actually see if I can get out of this. How did I get out of this? Uh, close that. And then uh, title screen, which we're not gonna click on. We got recenter. So if I look straight ahead, it recenters all the navigation and stuff. Uh, you got camera, so you can take a picture. So if you do that, you can look at it and just, and it takes a picture of wherever you're looking at. Um, and then you got uh, selfie, which is the one that I was about to pose for, just being like, there we go. And then that's my avatar that I made, it's saved to gallery. Uh, and then so on like that. So let me exit out of that little thing. And then you got your menu menu, so which you can teleport to different worlds and do different things without having to manually walk over there. And a bunch of worlds that you go into will have various interactable elements with them. So. Uh, this world had the basketball and some other things that I didn't try out. Let me exit out of this real quick. Yeah, this had the basketballs that I didn't try out fully. So let me actually go over there and grab the basketball. So this is the basketball that's uh, interactable. And if I can make this before the video, nope, can't shoot. Nope, not good at it. Let me try to grab this one more time. Lighter. No, so I couldn't do it. I'm going to make this, I promise you. No, it doesn't work. All right, so I can't, I clearly, terrible at aiming. You got a boom box here. Hope I'm even looking at the camera at this point, but if I hit play with the boom box, can I, can I hit it? It's, it doesn't seem to be letting me play anything right now. So let's, let's go to the office, in fact. So we're going to go to the office and it's going to teleport us to the office. And you'll see how an ideal environment might be if you're a company that for some reason wants to do some interactable things in VR. All right, so here we are, we are in the office. Um, if I move forward, you, you'll be able to definitely see like what's going on over here. I can either move with the joystick forward to see what it says. It doesn't say anything important, it just says VB, it says HFRDV. Um, if I walk over here to this meeting thing right here, and try to rotate myself. There we go. Getting a little queasy already. Uh, you can see that this will be the TV to present things on. Um, and you could just chat here. You could just, you know, be like the board meeting and be like, yeah, I kind of care about this, but this guy doesn't know what he's talking about. You can kind of do those kind of things. It's pretty cool that you can just do that. Um, and then you also got dry erase boards. So I'm going to just walk over there. So we got a microphone, it looks like. So if I'm talking, blah, blah, blah. And then you can just throw it and like, get rid of it. Uh, it says paper toss, complaint department, expense reports. So you can pick up the paper, see if I can make that. Nope, clearly I'm terrible at aiming. Let me try that again. All right, there we go, I made it. So you can throw away things. This is the whiteboard. So if you are interacting with uh, your group of people, you know, let's see if it'll let you pick up the whiteboard. Doesn't look like it's letting me pick it up. But the idea is there that you can, you know, interact with your group of people in a VR environment. So it's pretty cool in general, like the ideas that go into this thing. Um, it's not perfect. Obviously I haven't even learned everything about it, but as going through, I will learn more about it. Now let's go back home. All right, so now let's see, um, let's, let's go to my world. Let's go to my home right now. Uh, this is a place that you can customize various elements. I don't wanna make the video too long, so I'm just gonna introduce worlds to you guys. And then in separate videos, I'll show you guys how to customize uh, various elements and then hopefully eventually actually set up your own custom VR world. It's just a lot more advanced than this playful stuff. So this is this is my basic room. This is my basic world here. It's, you know, there's, there's not much to it. Um, it's just a room. It's just a place. You see host tools right there in world editor. We won't get into those yet, uh, but you can customize your world. 
uh, to whatever you're liking it. So I can even go forward just like here. And this is my desk. This is another uh, VR headset. Here are some papers that I crumpled up and I just can, you know what? I'm just gonna see if I can, you know, I'm terrible at aiming clearly. And, but you can see just like that. Oh, look, an Xbox 360. You can tell where this where it's uh this thing came from. This thing is an old application. Looks like here we got a Surface Studio with the Surface dial right there. So that's pretty cool. So there's a various things that you can do in this kind of environment. You can do emoji and all that stuff. So if you put like a emoji like that, it appears above your head, which you guys can't see barely because you see that. And you can also probably tell that as I keep talking, you can see this little little voice box showing up. So people will know that you're talking if you were actually unmuted um you got music that's going on that you can do and just various elements i know this is very bare bones i don't want the video to be like 20 minutes long but in general alt space vr is a thing and then before i even close out actually you know what this bubble thing right here so some people when they feel a virtual avatar coming towards them um, they get queasy very quickly because there's no one actually around them standing up or sitting down. So this bubble thing here, when you turn it on, it means that avatars that are walking around you cannot get too close to you. And therefore that, that claustrophobia -ness or claustrophobicness does not happen. So that's pretty much all space in a nutshell. We're going to start by just looking outside, looking down. Hope you're not queasy from that. We can go over here. Let's try to get over here real quick. Oh yeah, and one other thing too, pressing B lets you teleport. If you don't feel like, if you feel sick from uh, me walking like that, if I can grab like a firecracker and I can just let go of it, I can grab another firecracker, maybe aim at a building. Let's see, nope, nope, it's gonna explode right here. Aim at a building, there we go, explode. Nope, we went through the building. So there's various things that you can do. Obviously, if I even click this trivia night, we go into trivia night, there's a little blimp there. So it's pretty cool overall. Alt space, it's pretty cool. I'm sure you guys have seen this before who follow stuff like this. But in the next video, I kind of want to go a little deeper. I want to show you guys some worlds in action where there's other people in it. Uh, maybe I'll so set up a world or I'll set up a space that some friends of mine can join in and then we'll see just how interaction works in alt space. So this is just a basic run through of different elements of alt space. We'll get deeper and deeper and deeper um as we go through and we'll see where things go so my name is clay Fu. i hope this was useful for everybody and hope this was interesting if you don't even have a vr headset you don't even need a vr headset to use this but it's not as fun without a vr headset um my name is Kweku, and last before we go there's a discord channel so if you want to go to it you can uh interact with me and a bunch of other people including firecube if you guys know who that is on twitter he made some apps that i've looked at already um Go on there, there's about 20 people on there currently. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.